Right, well, BBC Three is back to attract a younger audience to BBC stuff. And to cover that, they've scrapped off, basically, BBC Four, which will now only show repeats. It won't have any new programming. BBC Four, typically watched by people over the age of 40, the people who are more likely to pay for a TV licence than the 16 to 24-year-olds that are targeted by BBC Three. Let's have a look at this story, because it doesn't make any sense to me either. The channel targets those aged 16 to 34 and moved to be an online-only offering via the BBC's iPlayer service in February 2016 in a bid to save £30 million a year. The funds from the channel were redistributed to fund dramas on BBC One. So what we can determine from that was a few years ago the BBC realised that no one was watching BBC Three and it wasn't worth the cost of keeping it going as a TV channel. So they made it an online-only service in an attempt to reach the kids who like streaming stuff and it, you know, they weren't getting an audience anyway. And that saved 30 million a year, which was then given to BBC One to make new dramas. Mm. But it's interesting that the BBC just spent 86 million quid on a new EastEnders set. That's how much they care about making new dramas. There's almost three years of that money gone into just the EastEnders set alone. Alone. So they didn't do it in a bid to save 30 million quid a year, otherwise they wouldn't have built the new EastEnders set would they? They did it because no one was watching BBC Three. The channel's relaunch is set to be marked by a series of new programmes, including a reality competition about young farmers racing tractors titled The Fast and the Farmerish. Now, did you ever see that episode of I'm Alan Partridge from a few years ago where he got called into the BBC and he started pitching new ideas and it was uh, something with Chris Eubank and there was monkey tennis with Chaz and Dave presenting it and stuff. That's what that sounds like. That's what it sounds. There's so many places to sell TV show ideas that they've got to pick up any old crap idea. Look at the, some of the stuff you see on Netflix and that now. You can go to them with any idea and I go, yeah, sign here, sign here, we'll have that. <laughs> the fast and the far. Come on, come on. Who's going to watch that? Are you just trying to rip off some, some good stuff from the PR that Clarkson's farm has got? That could have been yours, BBC, if you'd looked after him, you know. However, the BBC's decision to reintroduce the channel on TV screens has been met with backlash. No, really? Let's have a look at some of this backlash. When the comeback was announced last year as a bid to win back viewers, MP Julian Knight described the decision as a step backwards. It's exactly what it is. While on Tuesday, Tory MP John Redwood savaged the return and questioned why the BBC would reopen the channel when the corporation is short of money. He tweeted, the BBC say they are short of money, so why are they reopening BBC Three? What can they offer that they can't offer on all the current services? Now, it's a very fair point, isn't it? How much original programming are they trying to make specifically for BBC Three that they couldn't have fit into the schedules over on BBC Two and BBC One? Most of the stuff on BBC Two is repeats anyway, so you could knock some of that off and you could have put your younger modern stuff on there to try and attract viewers back to the main BBC channels and save the cost of launching a new one. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? It does make a fair point there. A Twitter user wrote, what universe do they think they can get young people to watch live TV? And if you are young and watching live TV, what the F is wrong with you? <laughs> Again, it's a very fair point, isn't it? Young people don't watch broadcast TV. They were bought up streaming stuff, weren't they? Watch them whatever they want to watch whenever they want to watch it. They're not interested in waiting for Wednesday at 8 for their favourite show to come on. It just doesn't work like that. They don't care about it. What they should have done was leave BBC Three as its own thing, online only, and charge, what, one ninety nine a month, two ninety nine a month to watch it. That's what they should have done. That's what they should have done. They would have got more views that way. The BBC hopes that returning the channel to live TV would attract viewers, especially those from lower socio-economic backgrounds or who may not have access to streaming services. That's probably like three people in that age bracket that don't have any access to streaming services now, aren't they? It's mad, isn't it? It seems wasteful again by the BBC. And I know they need to attract a younger audience to sell TV licenses. I get that. Now, the older people who are the main demographic that buy TV licenses, they're not going to be here forever, are they? So you've got to convert the younger people who are going to grow up paying their TV licenses. You know, I get it. I get it. I just don't think it's going to work because the world has changed and young people aren't interested in live broadcast TV. They're just not. But maybe I'm wrong. Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below and we'll have a chat about it as always, shall we? And I will, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.